Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Walter Wong Art and today I'm going to be doing an art review and critique for one of my patrons. Over on my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash art, I have a mentorship there. There's a few different tiers. Uh, some of you who are interested in learning how to draw or learning how to ink color or even letter, uh, you can reach me there on uh, mentorship and then when I review and critique your work, I will make a video and upload it here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's check out uh, my mentorship for one of my patrons here. Okay, so here's one of the first pages. It looks like a uh, rhino reaching the uh, Deadpool, and Deadpool is holding a CGC copy of um, himself, the New Mutants, which I thought was a pretty clever idea. So this is the uh, pencils, and um, one of my patrons, his name is Milt, uh, Milton, and I'm gonna be reviewing his work. And there's a few things that I would uh, change here in the pencils. Uh, the first thing I would change is right here. On the horns, I wouldn't have the horns exactly in the middle of the head. I would just have that maybe go up a little bit more, just so you know it looks more imposing like that. And then maybe if there's a second horn, have that overlap the line, just, just so it looks a little bit cooler. Now with the hand, I like that there's foreshortening there, but the shoulder here is missing a little bit. So when there's a reach, I would have that shoulder come out maybe from here out a little bit more over here and then more of this forearm right here just a little bit more to show that arm and the fingers um well there's not enough space for the fingers but i would try to see if i can scoot a little bit of this finger into the page just so there's more fingers so, so it just looks uh, nicer that way and right over here um on this Thumb, well, the pinky over here, I would just change the pinky a little bit more, uh, angle up this way. Maybe make some of the fingers a little bit longer. Let's see, now Deadpool thing, I like the way this hand is drawn here. That This hand is drawn pretty nicely, but the other hand, the fingers are a little bit um, kind of long. So uh, I would reduce those fingers a little bit, just to make it a little bit, and there's a palm of the hand, I would have that little arch there. And then these fingers, I would have it uh, this, this long. We don't want those fingers to be too long, so we're going to keep the, the size of that. And then the wrists, I want to make the wrists a little bit smaller, not, not too beefy, like that. Okay, a good job on the hand here. A nice job on the face. I liked how the face is drawn. Now this thing, I think uh, you're trying to create a sword there. That sword looks a little bit off. Um, from the perspective. If if that's not a sword, um, I think it's supposed to be like the handle of the sword. Now, if I look at the whole overall image, I would adjust the handle of the sword. Um, the sword here is a little bit too large for the, the size of the head. I would make that sword maybe this small and just follow this perspective like that. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of the hilt over here and then right there. That, that, not even that's a little bit too big. I would make this maybe that size. So this, this size right here, that would, that would be a good size of the sword. And then maybe on this side, I would add a little bit of the sword on that side. Uh, the Deadpool has two swords. Okay, and the shoulder, um, the right here, this is a little bit too big, and I would just uh, make this side larger, this arm, just because it's closer to the foreground. Okay, let's take a look at Rhino. I do like all the textures there. Let's have some of the muscles come on in here. And then for the chest part, we're gonna have a little bit more on this side. Um, let's see, other than that, um, I would um, accentuate the joints of the fingers. So some of the fingers, I would just make that go way out like this, and there's the knuckle part. And some of the, uh, the fingers over here, the thumb, we have that protrude out. The more joints, not the joints, but the more um, areas protruding outwards, such as this, the, the nicer your drawing will look. Uh, don't have, this is a tangent right here where the bottom of the palm of the hand is reaching that uh, CGC case. Uh, what I would do is I would just have this line go here and then the other part of the hand there. We'll draw some lines over here like so. Okay, we'll make this finger maybe a little bit larger just to, just to make that finger pop up in the foreground. Okay, now for which portion and things that are further back is a little bit smaller. So this, the shoulder right over here is a little bit large. I would just make that shoulder a little bit smaller. Okay, right here. So that's one of the things that, some of the things that I would do in the drawing. Let's take a look at the face. So we see um, 
rhino's ear here this ear based on this angle is a little bit off i would make this ear a little bit smaller i'll keep this size of the ear and then the nose i would adjust it this is more when i'm drawing i would have the center of the face and then the this side of the face that said with this nose this nose should be more like that okay so that looks a little bit better okay just adjust the nose slightly tilt it that way and then the mouth we're gonna want that those arches going this way that would be good so if you're one of my um, patrons um, every time I will review work I would just get to work I would do the review directly on top of it uh, on Photoshop digitally and then uh, when I'm done I will send these copies uh, over to you and then you get links to this video and then I'll upload to YouTube where everyone can uh, look at the work and learn from it okay I would make the forearm uh, the contours of these lines not so much exactly round but maybe there's a um, like the forearm here and then the back of the arm I would change up the contours a little bit so let me go in here and adjust this arm here and then just one more towards the bottom this way like this okay uh, again with the fingers create those joints protrude those give those arches like more of these arches it will just look so much better okay uh, I do like the textures now when you're drawing these shadow lines some of these hatch lines try to space them evenly this this is also a thinking you don't want the spacing from here to here to be that far apart and then right here to be that close together when you're hatching lines what you want to do is have those lines kind of look like a, a gray tone so when I'm drawing these lines I, I want to space them as evenly as I can okay just like just like that okay uh, good texture I, I like the way Deadpool is drawn okay Good, good job on Deadpool. Maybe a little bit of a, a, a little bit, a hint of a nose over there. Okay, and I, when I draw Deadpool, I like adding these little tick marks around there just to show the front of the head and then the top of the head, just to separate it a little bit more. Okay, so that is uh, Deadpool with the Rhino. I'm gonna save this. File save. Okay, and then we're gonna take a look at the other piece that uh, Milton sent me. Um, this piece looks like uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, Spider Man's uh, jumping, and then there was a bullet that hit the webbing and it snapped. Um, and this is a bullseye right here. Uh, here's, let's take a look at that first panel. First panel with the building that looks okay. I would, when I'm doing stuff for uh, publishers, I, I would want to make some of these lines a little bit straighter so I, I would use a ruler over there like kind of like draw those lines straight and then there's a way to cheat to when you're doing comic book art just go in there with the eraser and then just erase in between the lines in between the lines so when you do draw those little uh, windows you, you're nicely spaced apart from one another okay um, actually you know what let, let me just demonstrate over here how I would do that so pretend the red ink uh, let's do uh, this batch of building uh, windows like right over here okay I'll, I'll draw the line from here to here okay I'll use all that um, either digitally or traditionally with um, with pen and paper just draw all those lines okay make sure it's going on the same area like this if you're drawing digitally, I'm going to give you guys a tip. Um, rotate it until you get that nice uh, flat horizontal layer. And then you can just draw those lines um, straight across like this. So here, draw this line straight across. This, when you press the, uh, the brush and you keep your finger on the shift key, you can draw perfectly, perfectly horizontal lines from one another. Okay, once I have those lines drawn, I would rotate it. Or, you know, if you're drawing it traditionally, just use a, a ruler and just, rot you know, rotate your paper by hand. I rotate it like this, horizontally, vertically. And then I'll draw lines perfectly straight, going downwards. Let me shift it a little bit. Make sure this is the right angle. Uh, that, that, that looks pretty good. Or I'll just move it to the side and I'll align it to the edge of the, the paper here. And now that I know that it works, I'll just go in here and I'll draw these lines uh, perfectly perfectly vertical like so I'm gonna go here draw these lines okay like that okay and all these are drawn in either a pencil lid or digitally with um, with your brush right here I'm just drawing these lines and then if you have all those lines drawn all you gotta do is go back in there use your eraser and then just erase in between those lines just erase in between the lines and then you have perfect uh, perfectly sized windows from uh, one another um, 
you won't have like one window that's a little bit bigger one window that's a little bit smaller like this and then now I'll erase the insides over here erase the insides here like that okay just go in there and maybe zoom in a little bit get more closer to the details this way your window frame on the left and right side it aligns with each other I know sometimes drawing and inking windows uh, would take a little bit of time but this is this is one way to do it where it's um, easier and, and faster so if I was gonna make um, this in black let's see how it looks like in black I'm gonna select all the red and then just make this in black and then we'll see how the windows look okay I'm gonna increase the size of my drawing brush and just draw over it okay so there there you have it okay I'm just erase some of these guys over here like this okay and then we are going to have all those perfect windows like 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 so erased here and then here like that okay but as I said um, when I send these uh, artwork back I'm just gonna keep it in red I'm gonna go back and just uh, make sure it stays a red color uh, for milk to see the work Okay, I'm gonna go back a few times and right over here, make it make it red. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other areas um, for the critique. Uh, I'm gonna rotate this back, um, just make sure everything aligns perfectly. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look at the artwork. Um, I like the way this hand is drawn. Um, just like the rhino, um, we originally with the rhino, you just drew one finger and a little bit of the second finger. I would try to draw more of the hand on the inside. So if you're doing something like this, uh, increase, decrease the size of my brush, I would move this hand um, further on the inside. Let's see, let me get rid of this, this hair, and then I'm gonna use my lasso tool. Let me go here, move this hand, closer here uh, maybe maybe adjust it a little bit so it doesn't block the face so that's good and then you'll be able to draw more of the fingers okay so we have more fingers let me grab red color again so we can see everything uh, more of the fingers here okay and, and that, I like when I'm drawing I like to draw those little these joints instead of it being so straight I really like adding this because it gives it more form every time I'm drawing any part of the uh, body or fingers or joints or elbows or knees uh, adding those things just makes a, a world of difference okay it's just like the, the thumb here I would just accentuate this and then kind of create these muscles like that okay now um, I'm gonna keep uh, let's see I'm gonna keep all this and save this as one image uh, and then um, go back and talk about something else Control C Control V copy that image and then go to edit see I'm gonna create I'm gonna create more pages uh, file let's see image canvas size and put that image that I just drew on the left side it will make this maybe 80 80 just to have more paper okay and then I'm gonna go back and have this go back to how it was before I drew the hand so let me go back here first let me erase all of that okay and then move the hand back into place there we go okay uh, move the hand back oh it just so happens that I can't move back that much further anyway uh, I'm gonna let's see let me save this as something else files save as save this as I'm gonna put a little notation right here. Walled it here. Found that found. Okay, let me save this. File. Let me, let me go back in history and let me just paste that back on. Let me see what happens. Let me just leave this over here first. Okay, we're gonna keep this this way. Okay, layer, flatten image. I'm gonna save this as another name. File, save as. I'm gonna call this um, Walden right here. Okay, save this. I'm gonna pull that same image up uh, before I saved it so we see how it looks like before. File, open, right here. So here's the original one. I'm just gonna place this side by side so we see the difference in the hand. There's something that um, I need to talk about with the hand. Image, canvas size, gonna make that piece of paper a little bit larger, 84. Okay, I'm gonna take that image, place another one here, right there. Okay, now we have a double image. Okay, on the left is some of the adjustments that I've done. Now on the right, um, this is the original. 
Okay, here's the original drawing that was uh, originally drawn. Layer, flatten image. I'm just gonna save this first so I don't lose it. Now, right here, this is the spider web. Now, the spider web, I know that um, the script that uh, Milton sent me mentioned that this was a spider web that when Gwen, um, when spider when went to reach it, uh, there was a bullet that just snapped it and then just separated this webbing from this webbing. Now, before I read the script, I did look at the artwork before I looked, uh, you know, looked at this image. Now, when I looked at it, I thought this was like maybe a little area that was connected like right inside here and there was something coming out, like a little uh, opening on the arm. So if I was gonna draw this, I wouldn't draw that exactly right there because from a viewer standpoint, it just looks like there's like a tube coming out of the arm. I would actually draw that line and then a partial line kind of coming up this way, like that. Or, or have that just just kind of overlap some of the, the lines like on the hand. For example, if I had to make that like foreshortening coming out this way, like this okay and another thing is if I draw webbing I wouldn't draw the webbing looking like tubes I would draw it more like spaghetti strands like a little bit of um, like um, spaghetti webbing uh, I still see a little bit like down here which is nice that shows me that this spaghetti webbing um, but here I would add maybe a few more strands like this have some go around here and then in between some of those strands just draw a few more this way it looks like traditional uh, Spider-Man spider webbing, like here. Like for example, like this one right here, it just looks like a fire hose or something. So right here, I'm just gonna add a few strands coming from this side, like this side, and just wrap around over here. Get maybe another one strand here, and then maybe here, and then some, some broken pieces, like it just snapped off, like this. And then I'll continue with all those little individual strands in between that makes it look, uh, look like the spider webbing. Like that. So that's how I would draw um, webbing for uh, Spider-Man's um, webbing. Okay. Now, over here, the foot, the foot is a little too small. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can all see a little bit better. The foot over here, does, look, for foreshortening, if it's way in the foreground, that foot should be so much bigger. Okay. So I'm just going to adjust this one. Going to make this one foot right here a little bit bigger and another thing not only do you draw the foot bigger I would draw some of the ankle so let's see right here we don't really see that much of an ankle uh, on this foot here it just kind of you know just perfectly glides in right that right there I would go in there and draw an ankle right over here so a little bit of an ankle like a little bulge over here and then you draw the inside of the feet we draw the calf and then we draw the knees and then we have the back part going like that. You draw some uh, hatch lines there to show that that's the bottom of the foot. I know there's some artists that would draw um, uh, treads, almost like the bottom of the boots. Um, that's something, that's really a, an artist's uh, interpretation if they want to do something like that. Okay, now I noticed right away, um, I don't know if these right here are Spider Gwen's fingers or maybe it's just like garbage or like boxes in the background, but the hand here which, which is drawn, the hand here is drawn nicely. I would make this bulge a little bit more, okay? And then maybe a little bit more over here. I like this muscle over here. Now the hand here seems to just disappear right right when it gets behind the web. I wouldn't have that disappear. Um, it's just like some, something just feels like it's missing. I would actually draw that hand maybe here and then a little bit of the, the fist over here, okay? Uh, sometimes when drawing, it's better to go back in there and kind of draw through, like sketch out everything first. Um, let me grab a blue color to do some of the sketching uh, right here, which is purple. Okay, I'll sketch out the hand, and then I'll sketch out the how the rest of the hand looks, like that. And then I'll go in there and I'll draw the hand um, right right behind. Uh, let me go back and erase, erase that in my whole sketch. And I'll draw the hand Again, all these uh, protruding lines here, and then we have the thumb. So it depends. Depend, depends if you want him to, you want her to be like making a fist, or if you want her to be like uh, making fingers, like reaching out. Uh, make sure you don't touch. Uh, um, um, uh, what's it? Bullseye's um, bullseye's body over there. And another thing is, uh, we see the back part of the foot over here. We should see a little bit of the front part of the foot. Okay. Uh, that way it looks a little bit better, okay? Uh, we're gonna look at, uh, here's the muscle here. We're gonna have this go this way. Uh, arch this a little bit, and then arch the knees over here. Don't make that too round. Have that bump uh, go up like this, 
Okay, let me make these, um, the chest over here a little bit larger for foreshortening. Good job on the head. The hoodie, I want to make the hoodie maybe a little bit more like more of a like an extra fabric back there just just so it looks a little bit cooler uh, don't be afraid to add in some shadows of just a few wrinkles over here and a few wrinkles there just to make it look nice and then the hatch lines we have the shadows here i would have more towards the top just a little bit more of the hatch uh, shadows over there okay good job on the hands uh, i like the hands and just work on the webbing and make sure to fix the webbing w e b b i n g the webbing right over there okay uh right here don't, don't be afraid to use templates okay when you're doing artwork um draw draw with ruler and a circle a compass or a circle template and when you're drawing objects like for example this moon or the sun over here try not to touch the line um of the building that's called the tangent a tangent is when there's one object sharing the same line as another object so i would draw either this circle a little bit larger like that or i would i would just move it around maybe have the circle like right over here but i wouldn't share the same line as the building like that that's called the tangent we want um the more you separate tangents the better your artwork will, will look so i'm just gonna go here and just make that round part maybe like this a little bit lower okay let's take a look at the other area so far um this is pretty good i've seen some of your work uh, um in the beginning and yeah, your art is improving a lot okay all this will be black so we don't see it now let's take a look at bullseye bullseye is getting ready he's holding a rifle and it's getting ready okay so some of the um, um, anatomy here is a little bit off okay uh, with the arm uh, from this angle we would have this muscle as part of that and then here's this arm don't forget the uh, elbow and then this part we want to make this a little bit narrow not not too big like what you had over there before and then he's holding the holding the here's the back of the back of the um, the palm of the hand and then we have the thumb over here and then we have this and then here's the trigger finger over there and then uh, I like the way the hands sketch but make sure you make the hands clear we go in here and just draw the fingers overlap one finger over another and here's the palm of the hand okay uh, here's the ribs I would uh, change this up maybe angle it a little bit different maybe because uh, it looks like it's kind of twisted a little bit too much okay I'm gonna angle here good job on this okay this is the rifle here's the leg good good that looks pretty good and then here's Looks like there's someone coming out of the garbage can or someone that fell into the garbage can okay so it looks like uh maybe gwen gwen spider gwen is like swinging around over here and after that um uh, you know he's swinging and then bullseye gave a shot uh, shot the spider web and here's some of the smoke okay i draw the smoke kind of like more puffy like some some smoke like like this little bigger puff instead of a straight line okay like that okay good okay look uh, maybe draw a little uh uh bullet that that just came off ting like like ting like it like it just fell off okay the foot i would draw the foot a little bit more in the correct shape don't forget that arch of the foot here okay good lean forearm make that go down a little bit and there's spider gwen coming out okay good um take your time on the backgrounds when you're drawing backgrounds i know sometimes drawing backgrounds could be kind of boring and not that fun but um if you draw in the background it, it just looks so much nicer okay now i'm looking at the light over here now if this is the light source the shadow should be kind of going this way okay because the lights here the shadow should be here's a garbage can and then here's the shadows going this way we want the shadows to follow the same um beam of light okay and don't forget the little shadow of a spider gwen that's up there okay good yeah so this is uh again oh i like how um, you have that little bit of a, a spider webbing over here okay um, I, I would angle it different to follow the inside of, of the uh, the hood so maybe like kind of like going this way okay so we have more of that perspective going on okay good let me take a look at the rest okay then good good uh, all the silhouette buildings in the background okay so one thing um, to keep track of is when you're drawing a black in the background and there's anything in the front uh, you have to separate it with a halo it's good that you created a halo on the inside that's something that i also do when i'm 
doing drawing artwork, I would either have the halo on the inside or I have the halo on the outside. Uh, good job on having the halo on the outside. Okay, we're gonna take a look at that feet there. Good. We're gonna we're gonna make that shoulder just a little bit. Uh, uh, I think that's a pretty good. Yeah, well, maybe just a little bit larger, slightly larger, just to make it a little bit better. And yeah, we're gonna have that shoulder uh, collar over here. Good. Good job over here. This looks so. Let's take another look at uh, Milt's uh, artwork. So these are the correction uh, for Milt. We're gonna take a look at this one, and we're gonna take a look at the Rhino. Yeah, they, I, I really like the way you draw uh, Deadpool over here. I, the Deadpool looks really nice. Yeah, Deadpool is one of my favorite characters to draw. I, can, I, I mean, I used to work on Deadpool way long time ago, um, early in my career, and then later on in the middle of my career, I'm working on Deadpool, and then I'm gonna be doing something for Deadpool, um, which um, I haven't. Um, announced yet or talked about yet because um, it's not even uh, out yet so when it's out hopefully that I can make a video about uh, what I'm working on so here's this and then let's take a look at the inside the of the comic book of the CGC that's very nice there's Domino here's Deadpool and there's all the other characters here new mutants Marvel comics CGC you know what you do I mean, you should uh, sign you know kind of like sign your name right over here when you're done with the artwork like artwork by Milt uh, and then you know yeah I make this kind of look like a glare like lightly grab a eraser and kind of like erase around over there so it looks like a, a glass glare so there you have it that's um the artwork from one of my patrons built i did a good job keep up the good work and those of you who are interested in joining uh, my patreon check out my patreon page it's patreon.com slash art over there just different tiers that you can look at and whatever tier you want for mentorship you can also pick from there and also tiers where if you enjoy this video you can uh, support me by donating something over there and you can also check out my website my website is waldemarart.com over there there's a lot of different things that you can look at there's artwork there's a shop you can also contact Contact me directly uh, by you know contact page and my bio and a lot of fun things that you can look at. So uh, until next time, um, take care, have a good day, and any comments that you have, please comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, any time you make any comments, I do my best to respond to everyone. As long as I see the notification, I'll respond to all of you guys. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.